Ever thought of a way of creating a video game using programming? That's right. I created my own video game using programming language, Python. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing you my first Python project that I worked on. My project is on a video game and I named it Toad's Maze. Basically, the objective is to get Toads out of the maze. And video games is something I've been really interested in ever since I was a kid. Nintendo has been always my favorite games to play. I remember playing the old Super Mario Brothers. I can create a code as well. And the fact that Python is useful in creating codes. Also, you can create complex codes, not just video games, but also other games and projects as well. So this is something I have been interested in. And since it's my first project, I wanted to share with you a simple video game design that I worked on and the code that I worked with. So with further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, so this is my first Python project that I worked on. It's Toad's Maze Video Game. I made up this name. And you can see there's Toad, there's also Shy Guy, the Piranha Plant, and Boo. Basically, these three are the enemies. And the objective is to get Toad out of the maze. So that's why I put a maze in the background. I still remember one of my favorite games were Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. That's also one of the games I like to play. It involves, one of the levels involves getting Toad out of the maze. You have to find its way. And the object that I still remember was to collect 5,000 coins. But that was tough, but I made it through. So the software I used was obviously Python. Python is something I enjoyed. I learned how to code various stuff. So that's why I like using Python. And here's the code that I wrote. You can see it's quite long, but it's not that hard to learn. You can see I have the print statements, basically that prints the output, welcome to Toad's Maze, and the object is to get Toad out of the maze while avoiding running into booze, shy guys, and piranha plants. And I gave the whole list of getting out. Basically, there are three directions. And I also put in the if, elif, l statements. If is a condition, if something is true. If not, then we go to another condition. And also the else, which is false. So, are you ready to play? Let's get into it. So let's get started here. Are you ready? Welcome to Toad's Maze. Your objective is to get Toad out of the maze while avoiding running into booze, shy guys, and piranha plants. Let's get started. Good luck. Which direction would Toad like to go? Left or right? Let me choose right. Toad turns right and encounters a boo. Oh no! It's a game over. Let me try this again. Let's go left. Alright, we're still in it. Which direction would Toad like to go? Left, right, or straight? Let's go right. Toad turns right and encounters a boo. Oh no, game over. Let's try this one last time. Let's do left this time and this time let's go straight oh nice which direction would Toad like to go left or right or straight Toad turned right congratulations you got Toad out of the maze yes I did it this was a lot of fun creating my own code 
If you didn't know, I'm also using Replit, which is a free version. On Python, you don't need to pay anything, so that makes it a lot easier when I'm coding. I definitely like to do some more advanced coding, but I just wanted to do start off doing a simple one since this is my first project, and I just wanted to show you guys what I learned. The if elif else statements. I'm also working on a code where I can create my own Pokemon video game. So basically, I need to use different functions. I think one of them is a battle where I have to use a loop function where I have to repeat over and over again. But I'll keep that up to date and let you know when I'll be uploading it. So hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.